Hi Hans and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sadie. If you're new here, hello. <laughs> like I've got bourbon in my throat. Bourbons are elite biscuits. They actually are just a classic English. I have got a cup of tea. I'm not, I'm not really a big tea drinker. Like, I, can I even call myself British? I'm not sure, but we'll go with it today because I think I can't handle any more coffee. How are we all doing? It is cold AF now. I just had the boiler man round to fix the radiators because it was Baltic in the flat and thank God he could fix it. But yeah, it's time for cozy jumpers and whatever. But I thought we would sit down and do another Sadie Sops It. I hope you've been enjoying the series so far. Basically, it's me just trying to solve people's problems, give advice, even though I am not a professional and probably not the best person to even dish out advice, but I'm here and I'm doing it. This week's one is gonna be body confidence. Now, I have wanted to do this video for so long, you don't understand. I am obviously not a body confidence expert. I'm not saying that in any way. That's just a little disclaimer. I'm probably, again, not the best person to be advising on this, but I just wanna talk from my experience and how I feel like I've got a bit more body confident over the past year, especially dealing with weight gain. If you don't know, I used to be literally a size six to eight. And then in a year, I became a woman. I moved to London. I was working in an office, eating office snacks, probably not up and about all the time. So I literally went from like an eight to a 12 within the space of a year, which was hard to deal with at first. I I know 12's not big, of course I'm not saying that at all, but when you're used to being like really skinny, mini, being able to wear anything you want, certain clothes, and then gaining a little bit of weight, it is a hard pill to swallow. It's, it's quite weird, it's like your identity's changed. I definitely think recently I've got a lot more confident in myself and I just wanna spread the positivity to everyone. So I asked over on Instagram for you to send me some body confidence questions and like topics to talk about. So yeah, we'll just delve into them. I'm hoping I can help you out. I get a lot of comments and they're like, I wish, I wish I was as confident as you to wear that and people say that that's a diss. Is it? Is it a diss? Like, does that mean I shouldn't be wearing stuff? But, oh my god, you you got the confidence, girl, go for it. I don't know, I'm gonna take it as a compliment. I mean, at the end of the day, it's your life, you wanna wear something, go for it. Like, you still deserve to be happy and love yourself despite any size you are, whatever. I'm rambling on. If you like these kind of videos, please give me a little thumbs up. You know that helps my videos. And of course, subscribe please. I do all kinds of good things on this channel. I don't know why I've gone like Texas, but yeah, let's just get into it. Go put your records on. <laughs> also, head over to my Instagram if you're interested in body confidence, as I do post my naked body. Well, it's not naked, but I do post my body a lot and show it in different lights. I get my belly out. I get my stretch marks out, I get my, my rolls out, my hip dips, like anything like that. I really just want to spread the love and show that these things, what we shouldn't hate these things. We, we can still feel beautiful. So yeah, please go follow me on Insta. But yeah, let's just get into it. The first question I have was how do you deal with weight gain? It's kind of similar to what I was just talking about. So I'm going to start with that. Hmm. It's very hard, I think, to deal with any change in your body. Like it's like, we tie so much of ourselves into how we look and it's like your shell it's the shell you live in so when that space you live in changes your whole attitude can change i totally get that and i don't know it was hard to deal with at the time like i definitely took being like really slim for granted i just thought oh, it didn't really bother me i could just wear anything i wanted and then suddenly i couldn't like suddenly i was like oh my belly is poking out a little bit and then I was like, oh, I have rolls. Just very normal things that we all have, but that transition from the teenage to the woman body, I don't think is talked about enough. How I dealt with it, probably not in the best way. I'd say a top tip, like you have to, you have to eventually accept it and we tie so much of our self-worth into how we look, which is sad when there's so many other amazing, beautiful qualities inside of us, but instead of focusing on our personalities and other qualities, we focus on the way our bodies look. <laughs> right, do not torture yourself. If you've gained weight and it's been that way for a while and you're, you've not lost it, because I, I think for six months I was trying to lose it and I was like, what is wrong with me? Went on so many diets, gyms, I, I, it just was a lot. If you can't get back to the previous state you were in, which most likely you can't because whatever, and it doesn't even matter if you can. Get rid of clothes that do not fit you, please, because it's just this idea, oh, I'm gonna fit into them soon. No, no, you shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have things in your wardrobe that make you feel like crap. Dress well for your body and you will feel so much better. That's how I dealt with weight gain. And 
always, it's hard, but always in life, try to look at the positives. Yeah, I didn't have a flat stomach anymore, but I had boobs for the first time and I was like, oh, uh, oh. So I'm gonna learn how to dress with them. Same with like hips or whatever, there's just, everybody has positives to it so try and work them to your advantage things like that and then another thing which i'll probably mention loads follow people right this is huge who you follow has the biggest impact in your life don't follow anyone that makes you feel crap because the only reason you feel crap about weight gain mostly is because society tells us that being bigger isn't good which is fucking bullshit okay so follow people that show like their body in that those time of lights follow people with your body that you think look amazing because that is what's going to make you change your mindset because i've started following loads of girls i'll put a little thing in the description of all of my favorite body confident accounts or girls i just love to follow I don't even need to be body confident just girls i love to follow who have like a mid-sized body and they make me feel confident i look at them and i'm like well they're size 14 so I'm like and i'm size 12 whatever they look amazing so why can't i be amazing and that's will definitely change your mindset so that is the first few things get rid of clothes that don't fit you and follow better people uplifting amazing girls that yeah are just gonna make you feel like a bad bee that is definitely top but yeah weight gain is it is difficult to deal with and also just i think the natural reaction when we gain weight is to try and lose it but really we should just be one thankful for our bodies for working amazingly whenever i feel like i look down at my body right and i'm like oh i look fat whatever i just think Think of all the amazing things about my our bodies are actually doing for us. Like, what? Like a body can do so much. Can you imagine what your body like? All the stuff that's going on inside. Even the fact we can urinate. I'm sorry. Wow. Like I know I sound like a crazy person. I was chatting to my friend about this in a club toilet the other day. I was kind of drunk, but I was like, how amazing is it that we can actually wee? Like we can just get rid of like waste by via weeing, and our body just does that naturally, and we know when to wee. And and same as like pooing and stuff. Like. That's incredible and we just don't give ourselves enough credit for that. We focus so much on how our body looks and not really how amazing it is. And I think once you make that transition in your head, then you start to eat well because you eat well because you want your body to be treated better. You, you yeah, you just feel, you, you work out because you want to be strong, not because you want to look skinny. Like that is definitely something we need to change and just get a better relationship with food and working out in general. But yeah, bottom line is you just need to accept yourself. It's a hard journey. It's, I'm not going to say it's easy. But yeah, just talk to yourself a lot more nicely. Weight gain really isn't the end of the world. It's something we all go through and it doesn't define us. Okay. Um, the next question is very similar. How do you become more confident in your own body? Love you, by the way. Thanks, Anne. I love you too. <laughs> Again, similar tips that I just said, but it is really dressing how you want like there's so many rules of fashion oh you can't wear this if, if you're this size and i get so many girls message me and they're like how do you wear that i would never wear that especially when i wear tight dresses and i'm like wear clothes that you make you feel good i can't explain it like if you like an outfit you like a style you like edgy clothes right don't ever think i can't wear that because i'm um this size whatever that's only for skinny girls yes of course some clothes are more flattering but it's all about making those styles work for you and that's how you're going to feel confident because then you're going to just feel good in what you're wearing like if you just wear baggy things or things that you think make your belly look flat whatever it's, but it's not really what you love you're not going to feel good about it that is what i have learned like yeah there are times i wear an opoi dress and i'm like okay my belly is poking out a little bit but if I was wearing a, like a baggier dress that covered my belly, yeah, maybe I would feel my body looks better, but I wouldn't feel as confident. I really hope I'm making sense. But yeah, whatever you feel like insane in, go with that and talk to yourself in a nicer way. We are so vile. We are so vile to ourselves. You would never talk to your friend. Like imagine your best friend, how you talk to yourself. Like what you say to yourself becomes your reality. Like our words are so powerful. I know this sounds really hippie, but whenever I'm going through something I try and talk nicely to myself and sometimes I like even like look <laughs> I look in the mirror and I'm like you got this and I'm like you got this Sadie you've got this I want you to do that with when you talk about your body so if you go down you're like oh I look so fucking fat I look vile like which is probably very normal what we all say to ourselves try and change and be like say something nice about yourself instead and just stop yourself because what you think and say will become like your reality to so stop saying things like that you have you have to catch yourself and it is a hard because we're, we're especially english people we're so de self-deprecating that we always 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 put ourselves down but we do not need to do that and yeah like sometimes i'm like i look at my belly i'm like Ugh, and i try and 
say something different. I'm like, you look really cute. Like, it looks really cute today. Like, it's a little bit squishy, whatever. Like, I just change it. Also, whenever you are thinking all the bad things, immediately after, I try and think of something good. And it's like you train your brain. So sometimes I'm like, my thighs look big. And also, when I'm saying this, this is just an example. I'm not saying anything on me looks big. And I don't want anyone to get triggered and be like, oh, well, I don't look like her. Please don't do that, please. Because I've had messages like that. And I, I don't want to make anyone feel like shit. I'm just going off what I say. So sometimes I'll be like, oh, um, my bum looks really flat. Like, I hate my bum, whatever. And then, okay, but I like my legs. Yeah, so there's there's always gonna be something you hate on yourself and I'm telling you now, whatever we hate on ourselves, like sometimes it used to be like my cheeks look too chubby, I want I want like skinny cheeks. And then I remember meeting this girl and she was like quite skinny and she couldn't really gain weight and she said she felt been ill recently and she had really like a gaunt face and she was like, I would love to have chubby cheeks, I think it's so gorgeous, it looks so pretty and I was like, Wow, how crazy is that? Like there's something on myself that I'm hating someone else wishes they had and it's just I think it's always the same we always want what we can't have so you might as well just try and be happy and focus on the positives about you because everyone is beautiful in their own way and everyone has loads of different unique lovely features in their own way don't let Instagram don't let don't let celebrities don't let anyone tell you different these filters these filters are not helping us in any way so stop using them I vow to stop using them like I, I use a Bahamas filter which blurs your skin and like just makes the, the the thing look pretty but I don't use any of those ones that change your face just because I'm like what kind of example is that if I'm using that on my stories like it's tempting though especially when you have spots okay the next one is dealing with people who criticize your body or tell you you're fat girl girl been there done that and the hardest thing for me as well when i first started gaining weight was like you know when you're gaining weight and you're like thinking do people around really notice or am i fine i don't know no 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 they noticed they noticed and they say something and because of what i do as well the lovely trolls find me which is nice i have i had people messaging me just fat fat <laughs> i was like uh, and I remember the first time I saw it, like, my eyes well, well, welled up. Like, it was the biggest shock to have someone say that to me. Like, it literally made me feel sick. I was like, oh, my God. And it made me not want to ever... I was on holiday and I put a bikini photo up and someone was like, wow, you're fat. And I was like, mm, hmm. And people used to message my ex, your girlfriend's fat, like, things like that. It really got out of hand. And still now on YouTube, I'll get comments like that. But now it's weird. I've just got to a place where it doesn't bother me anymore. And I'm like, really, is that all you can say? You have to own it. That's definitely, since I started posting about how I feel about weight gain and trying to be more confident in my body. And just since I posted my photo of me with my belly out and I've done like the underwear and bikini hauls, I definitely feel like I've claimed my body more as my own, which I know doesn't make sense because it's like you've literally put your body on the internet for, for thousands of people to see. But then I'm also like, well, yeah, this is my body. This is me. What can you say? You can call me fat. That's it. That is literally it. Think of the worst thing someone could say to you is fat about your body. Okay, well, cool. All right, I'm fat. What else do you want? Like, that's fine. I know I've got loads of other good qualities that don't... So that's not going to define me. There's such a weird fat phobic thing in this society. Like, what? I don't get why it bothers people so much if someone is a bit overweight or... or, or or is bigger like what I don't I actually don't understand why does everyone care so much some people are just naturally bigger okay and that is absolutely fine and we need to just stop shaming people stop assuming they're not fit whatever but I know it's hard if someone says that to you but I'm telling you now that is not that is not okay someone commenting on your looks okay whatever move on move on is that really all you're gonna say to me I'm fat okay cool like you just have to like I'm not saying own it but like you do you have to just accept it like cool don't let their horrible comments get through to you. What people do to you, that's a them problem. Like, no one who's nice and in their right mind would ever say that to you, would ever say that to you. So in a way, you have to just feel sorry for people. Like, how, what a ho horrible, bitter life you must lead to call someone fat. Like, seriously, do you hate yourself that much that you have to project it onto me? Get a grip, get a grip. Someone said, how do you deal with imperfections, i.e. stretch marks, spots, whatever. Right, imperfection. It I don't like the word imperfection. How can it be an imperfection if all of us have it? There is not a human on this world that doesn't have something on their body that's... No one is flawless. There, I'm telling you now, no one, even bloody Adriana Lima or Giselle or whatever, Victoria's Secret models, they will have something. And everyone has a different level of what they think is perfect. 
but for some reason we all think we're, we've got something wrong with us but it's not the case like it's so it's so weird isn't it all girls have stretch marks mostly and boys you can get them anyway you can get them on your boobs on your back on your thighs on your hips like anywhere because we grow as humans and our body stretches because we 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 grow into adults and that's so normal or we gain weight or we have a baby or whatever and yeah i haven't had a baby and i have loads of stretch marks all over my thighs but to be fair i think i remember one day i just like i think i was like quite young when i got them like 19 i just looked down at my legs when i was in shorts and i was like what is it what is that oh my god what is that and i was just like what whatever i don't know i've never been that bothered i know mine are probably my, like a bit more smaller than other people's but i think they, they're fine they're just a normal part of our bodies and people just yeah need to get over it i i guess it is again that thing of social media has fucking warped us because sadly society profits off off of us hating ourselves because they want us to go and buy like oh this helps cellulite so we were told do you know that was invented i think it was was it vogue that invented it someone a magazine invented cellulite and said like we're not allowed to have that little f like it's the pockets of fat that dimples in your body which women just naturally have like literally it, there is there's nothing we can do about it that is just what happens to your body there's no cellulite bust or whatever but they decided to make it this billion dollar industry and they profit off us hating ourselves so actually it saves you money to like yourself it saves us money and it's just a big fuck you like no yeah that, that's how i deal with imperfections is like actually it's not real and we all have it like we literally all have it that's what you gotta think everyone's in the same boat i know it's hard sometimes like i get those like little red marks on my arms but there's just really there's not really anything I can do about it. That's the, that's the thing as well. I don't want to spend my life hating myself or little random things on my body when I can not physically do anything. It's not worth my energy. Imagine if I used all that energy into hating myself, into like doing something else. God, I could be the president. Do you know what I mean? Like with women especially, I just think, what is all this thing about girls being insecure and hating themselves? They're doing it so we don't actually do anything else. Hmm? Hmm? Do you know what I'm saying? If we actually liked ourselves, we could get a lot more done. So I just think of it like that. But yeah, life it, re life it really is too short. I know that sounds cliche. It's just too short to, to worry about shit like that. But honestly, yeah, when I get a spot on my face, <laughs> I'm, a bit, I'm actually quite dramatic. I do get it really knocks, it does really knock your confidence. But do you know what as well? No one cares about you as much as you do like you think everyone can notice stuff they do not notice they do not care people care so much about themselves like everyone else has probably stood there worrying about their insecurities so we don't don't, don't bother about it and everyone says i have a lot of spots on my body and i'm scared what people may think literally what i just said they they probably don't think of you like in that way that sounds bad but people are so obsessed with themselves and it's a natural thing that happens to your body and it's nothing to be ashamed of like anyone who says anything can literally go fuck themselves <laughs> Oh, uh, honestly, people's bodies aren't our business. And honestly, and, and stop yourself doing it too. Like, if you find yourself looking at someone and judging them, just, no, just stop. Just don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. But someone said, I hate my arms. What can I do and wear to make them look smaller? Like I said, there's a way you can dress to be more flattering. I'm a little insecure about the tops of my arms too. Do you know what? Ever since I got my tattoo, actually, I felt better about my arm because I'm like, oh, it looks cool. So I've like reclaimed it because I'm like, now I want to get my arms out because I want to get my tats out. But I, I can appreciate. Um, do you know what? Puff sleeves. When I tell you puff sleeves are your best friend because they cover it, but also make your waist look smaller as it creates this sort of like more hourglass shape. So yeah, anything like th there's a million things you can wear. You want something to be looser here. If you get a t-shirt, get a t-shirt with a looser fit that cuts in here so it will show the smallest part of your arm don't get ones that are like cap sleeve like really tight or even those muscle tee tops because it brings the what's it called it brings the attention up here also whenever i wear blazers or cardigans i wear a little bralette and then i just like have it off the shoulder because that's quite flattering as you don't really see all of your arm i mean i can do another video if you want on like styling for body shape if that would be helpful um and maybe people could send in what they i don't i wouldn't want to i don't want to promote like making people hide their bodies but i know there's a way to dress that can be more flattering but like i said before it's all about just trying loads of stuff like bardo style tops just order like a few different kind of tops and then see see what how they look like it's more like trying things winter is obviously the best because you can wear jumpers and things like that oh this one my boyfriend wants me to lose weight the fuck um i want you to lose your boyfriend yeah bye bye barry whatever his fucking name is i'm sorry i'm not having it like 
he should, you're, you're, the person you're with should love you no matter what. The same as if he gained weight, you should be there for him too. Like, you don't love the way, you don't fall in love with the way someone looks, you fall in love with their personality. I think you really need to talk to him about it and say like, this isn't okay, this is making me insecure. Like, why do you keep saying that? What is your obsession? Are you like, well, I just don't get it. That's just so rude and I'm really sorry you have to go through that. I don't even know what I would say. I mean, if he's saying it in a way like, if you, right, the context here. If you're saying, cause I used to always moan, oh my God, like I look so far, I really need to go to the gym, but oh, I don't know what to do. I feel so depressed, I feel so down. And my ex, my boyfriend would be like, okay, well, let's go to the gym. Like, come on, let's do something about it. And sometimes girls just want to rant. And he'd be like, I thought you said you wanted to lose weight. Like, that's fine. That's being supportive, but it's annoying when they say that. But things like that, I think is fine. But if he's just outright like, I want you to lose weight. I, I, don't, I don't really, I don't really know why he gets to have a say in exactly how you look. Like, I don't know. If I think if someone's making you feel insecure and making you feel worse, they're not really the right person for you. I don't know rude someone said how are you so confident posting photos on instagram um i am not this definitely got to a stage it's, it's when i wear stuff i love i feel confident but i used to always try and make my body look as skinny as possible i would pose like to make me i'd literally always breathe in and i wouldn't post it unless i looked absolutely perfect you have to understand as well you just see this or you see me on instagram i don't think people understand how long it actually takes to like get a photo or even get ready like Look, right, I am probably exposed myself. Look, fake tan did that last night. Hair curling can take like 40 minutes, right? Then it's like makeup can take an hour. All of it takes so, that's so long and so much effort. Fake nails, blah, blah, blah. It takes long and then we compare us sat in pajamas with no makeup on to a girl on Instagram that's then probably edited the fuck out of the photo, has taken a hundred to get the right pose. Like, I know how to, I know my body well, I know how I'm supposed to make myself look skinnier and I got that down to a T because I was so embarrassed to be the size I was. I didn't want to be that. I wanted to look so skinny on pictures, but it wasn't real and I just had enough. Like I hated doing it after a while. So now I want to show my body properly in pictures. That's what inspired me to do it, to show people that, that I don't even look like the way I portray on Insta. Do you know what I mean? So it was nerve wracking at first and I was literally sweating posting it. Once I posted it, I can't explain it. It's like I've just completely changed my attitude. I think obviously because everyone was so supportive and I know it was helping girls, that that's what it boils down to now. Like I don't care if I look so skinny and sexy in photos now because I'm like, at the end of the day, this is me and I want to help people. Um, so yeah, in a way it actually made me more confident because again, like I said, it's it, it was showing my flaws to the world. It was like, I've, I've put it out there for everyone to see now, so go on then, call me fat then. That's it, that's 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 all they can say. And I was like, now I, I've, I feel like I've claimed it as my own and I've put it out there and I feel so, I feel so much better about it. And now I feel way, I don't know, when, when I take a photo, sometimes I'm like, oh, you can see like a belly roll or you can, my belly looks a bit big and it doesn't put me off posting it. I'm like, well, that's my body, so I'm gonna post it. I still think I look cool, I, I still like my outfit. But yeah, being confident to post photos is definitely, it can be, it can feel nerve wracking, but at the end of the day, if you enjoy posting photos and you like it, if you enjoy posting these photos and you like dressing up, whatever, then do it because at the end of the day, it's your life. And if someone's gonna laugh or judge you, then so be it. Like, at least you're happy doing it. Don't do it for anyone else, do it for yourself. We got another one. I've lost a lot of weight due to stress and don't feel confident anymore. Oh, I'm really sorry you're stressed. This is an interesting one because when you think of body confidence, some for some reason, you naturally think of like, gaining weight or whatever because that's seen as bad but also a lot of people for, for a lot of people weight loss is bad and being too skinny like my mum when she was younger all she got called was too skinny oh my god are you anorexic and that can be just as detrimental also just comment on any kind of weight whether someone's lost weight it's not always appropriate to say to someone oh my god you look so good like you've lost so much weight and it's like okay well yeah i'm actually going for a really stressful time or they've got an eating disorder or there's usually an underlying health issue so it's just better to not and don't imply that it makes you look good it's like because that's just fucked up like oh i need to be ill to look good like that's not okay um and i had it someone someone said it to me recently and i was like mm, do i and i was like i just look the same i'm just wearing something different like it's it's weird that we comment on that we wouldn't be like oh no they and they said Oh yeah, you look a lot smaller than when I last saw you. <laughs> what did I look like when I last saw you? When I last saw you, like, I don't know. I know people th have the best intentions with it, but maybe let's stop. You can just say to someone, oh, you, oh my God, you look really lovely. Like, just, just say you look nice, don't. If they want to talk about their weight loss and they, and if they say, yeah, I've been like going to the gym, then, then great, you can talk about it, but don't assume. Like, there was a post on Instagram, I, I'm really sorry, I can't remember who put it, and it was like, 
why are people talking about your weight loss or like what were you going through when someone commented on your weight loss and some of the things were actually so horrific it was like I was going for a divorce I just had a miscarriage and then obviously their friends are going you look great but you don't know what, what people are going through and yeah I'm really sorry you're going through a stressful time I think you need to focus more on like feeling better inside getting rid of the stress I know that's easier said than done but like making yourself feel good inside will then in turn make you happier and hopefully feel better the same with with weight gain do not let it define you and before you know it you'll probably be feeling back to normal but yeah i'm just gonna say it one more time our weight does not define us we are amazing humans i think let's just focus on i'm trying to focus on me more as a person yeah 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 i have roles i know but like also i'm funny oh i like to think i'm funny i'm not i'm not that funny actually but i know i'm a caring person like, it's like think of your strengths like really become self-aware about yourself and really think of your strengths and in your personality and all the other amazing traits you have like maybe you're amazing with your family or maybe you're a great girlfriend or you're you help the homeless or i don't know like think of all the good things about you and actually how little your weight comes into that how to answer family members commenting on weight gain it's like sandra why do you care what why do you care so much about me sandra why do you care why do you care i actually like do you know what i actually don't i don't no i do i've had family members and i think people don't mean it sometimes they just they're like oh you're fair now or comment on the food i eat i don't like that i've had people say yeah they comment on like what i eat and sort of say oh that's maybe why you've gained a bit of weight because you eat that look if i want to eat fucking eight cheese strings in a row i'll do it it's none of your business i don't know what it is about family there's like a they just cross a boundary because if it was your friend you'd be like don't talk to me like that but when it's family you just have to bear like grin and bear it look i don't really know how to answer this one I, as i said i'm not a professional but my sort of angle is i just answer everything with humor i just deflect the shit out of everything i'm like yeah i'm, I'm really fucking fat yeah i'm so huge I'm, I'm surprised you get past me i do that way but i'm not saying that's the healthiest or the best way you should do it but i don't know if it's close family maybe just sort of i don't know say if it's hurting you be like i don't really appreciate the comments on my weight or be like, just like oh can we not talk about something more interesting than my weight like is there not i, I don't know it's it's a, it's an awkward one with family i do really appreciate that this one makes me so sad being happy enough to keep candid photos my partner always takes some of me and my little girl oh my god you have a little girl so cute and i want to cherish some memories but whenever i see a photo i hate my body i don't feel like this one look in the mirror though so i just have to realize that i think that's a normal thing some people prefer them in fit photos some people prefer the mirror it cannot always be some people just don't like photos and don't feel like they're photogenic but sometimes my friends take photos of me and they are so ugly what? Mate, I don't know what cameras my friends have, but I look ugly. When you're not in control of the image, you don't realise all the weird mannerisms you pull. I swear, my double chin is out in full force. Every time someone takes a photo of me, I'm like, I do not look like that. Sure, surely not. But it's, it's hard, but you just have to take it away from yourself. Like, one day you'll be so appreciative of those photos. It's of you and your gorgeous little girl. Just think of her more. Make the photo about her. Don't worry more about what you look like, okay? These are amazing memories and i'm sure you do look gorgeous you just don't realize it maybe say to your partner like can we do like more posy ones like, that i actually like and maybe work and get some photos you like that you will cherish but annoyingly the cameras just absolutely play us but you need those photos so just think of it like that someone said dealing with sizing people say i look good and i've lost weight but but my dress size has gone up dress size no 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 let's not base anything on dress size because i have people say to me they're like you don't look like a size 12 i'm like well well sometimes i can't even get size 12 jeans up so what do you want me to do and like honestly the uk sizing when i go into certain shops like i cannot get a size 12 up and then i'll go into other shops and literally like i could get a size 8 top how does that even make sense so they're not regulated so do not worry about sizing we shouldn't place so much on it and really i feel like there's so little between each size like size 10 12 it's not really much it's a matter of inches and it, it doesn't really mean anything if you think you look good i actually do not care i don't care if i'm a size whatever as long as i look banging if i look and go mm, you look good i don't care what size same with the scales do not just don't 
I have not stepped on a scale in like a year. There's, just don't do it to yourself. It is really, really not going to help anything. I get people want to track their progress, but I just feel track how you feel, track how clothes fit on you. If everyone else around you is saying you look good, take it girl, whatever. So what if your dress size has gone up? Maybe you're just distributing weight in a different way. How can I love my fat the way I love other people's? I can hype them up, but not me. You're already halfway there. If you're already looking at people who have similar bodies or to you and you think they look amazing then you just need to think why can't i do it to myself like you need to give yourself the same love you are given to other people hype yourself up like imagine you were your own best friend and you'll be like i was actually listening to this song the other day and it was like um by awa 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 i'm sorry if i'm saying that wrong but her voice is amazing and it's called like like i do and it's like nobody can love me like i do and i'm like i aspire to be like that i want to be like i love myself so much that like even if i had a boy i'm like you'll never love me the, <laughs> the way i love myself because i am number one and that is how we should all be we should all be giving ourselves that love because it's so powerful and it's so important i bet you look amazing and probably if you're thinking of other people people are thinking of you so just talk to yourself in a nice way just literally look in the mirror and be like you are a bad bee you look fab you look amazing today gorgeous it's hard but you can do it i know you can you're already halfway there also sometimes when i feel crap this sounds really weird i literally just put on the best playlist and i like wear nice underwear and i just have put nice makeup on and i'm like i just dance in my room i, I, I literally sound crazy but that makes me feel good like a very sexy like i'm like just just for myself do things for yourself look good for yourself not for other people and that just feel um, it makes me feel empowered it makes me feel good so that could be a tip dance around your room naked <laughs> How did you find proportions that work best for your body with clothes? I might do a video on this. It is just all about trial and error, looking how other people with your body dress and working out what you want to accentuate. So work out what you like about yourself. Like I know I like my legs, so I wear shorter skirts. If I wear long skirts, it accentuates my belly and hips and that is something I wanna maybe hide a little bit. So it's things, work out what you like and then you can go from there. And with like, I like my waist, my waist is small, so but I don't like my arms. So I put things on my arms to make my waist look smaller, things like that. But it's literally just like I did at ASOS video when I ordered trends that I didn't think would suit me and you find out so much about yourself. So just try loads of things if you have the time, like, order loads of things and really whittle down what you like but i might actually do a video on it because it could be fun i'm so big compared to my friends so I feel self-conscious when we go out, out and they look so good mate did i write this to myself is this me because you just spoke to my soul babes you don't understand like especially recently because obviously lockdown's eased we've been able to go out that's been the biggest thing for me is i don't know why i've suddenly started comparing myself to other people and they can fucking eat you up inside i'm like my friends they're getting ready and i look at their bodies and i'm like they look so stunning and they look they're all my friends are smaller than me so it's, it is hard but that's them you are you there's nothing you can do about it there's no point feeling awkward about it like you're amazing in your own way so you just gotta own everything you are and that i know it's hard and that's what i'm trying to do so whatever like just be happy your friends and be like i'm so happy you guys look amazing hype your friends up spread the positivity around and just have a good attitude and yeah so what just because they look smaller than you i don't think it takes away from a girl's beauty if her friend's smaller than her whatever and sometimes you're like oh are people looking at me and thinking is she's the biggest one but no one really cares again no one cares and don't let it affect your friendships like be grateful you have amazing friends that's what i think like why i sometimes just think to myself what am i doing why am i sat here feeling insecure thinking i'm the biggest when i should just be focusing on having a good time with my friends don't miss don't like it, i don't know it just that's such so crazy to me isn't it like in life instead of just having a good time we're worried about how we look oh i'm so done with it now i just try and when i'm with my friends instead of thinking of that i try and focus on them like actually on the conversations having a laugh dancing doing whatever like and just not worrying about that oh i find it hard to be confident with my body in front of my boyfriend help right he is your boyfriend and he loves you and he probably loves your body and let me tell you boys they don't care that much about that stuff they literally just want to see a naked they just want to see titties <laughs> If, if you're naked in front of a boy, I think the last thing he cares about is your belly. He's just probably like, woo, I'm going to get sex. I'm going to, it's going to be amazing. So yeah, please don't worry about that. Like he loves you and that's a person you should feel most confident about. And when you're at your most confident, that is when you're at the most sexiest, most beautiful anyway. So yeah, focus on that. I probably, he, he, he does not care as much as you think. Get sexy underwear and just be like, amazing. 
exude that confidence girl you've got this again someone said confidence during sex after weight loss again it's like during sex people are just happy to be in that situation they probably don't care too much about your body and don't i think if you're in the moment during sex don't worry about your body like think about what you're doing like actually enjoy the moment and just get out of your head with it and focus on the act involved rather than <laughs> your body and you'll just start to forget and just enjoy yourself more like sex is meant is there for us to enjoy it's a pleasurable experience it's not it's not like something we do just to look good for people obviously it's it's great if we feel confident in our body and during sex obviously you do want to feel confident but it should just be boiled down to you having a good time so and then when you're having a good time you look good better anyway and you feel it's honestly it's a good cycle so yeah just just focus on the act the act i don't know why i'm being so weird in calling it the act <laughs> hip dips there are so many amazing girls nelly london her she has changed my whole mind on hip dips i think they're the sexiest bloody things ever now so yeah following people that have similar body things to you is a natural occurrence hip dips are so normal and i think they're, they're just like another little curve yeah we just gotta accept it and whatever and then finally because i've literally been talking for years i'm so insecure when i leave my house but at home i feel fine in my body how can i feel better out when i'm out i'll tell you what i do put my music in and i just ignore i just ignore everyone like whatever put on music and just i just walk down the street and pretend i'm in a music video and then you just start to not think about your body yeah so music is the best thing i'm glad you feel good about your body inside the house that's definitely the first step like if you can feel good about your body then you've already completed the biggest battle feeling insecure when you're out boils down to one thing and that is that you are worried what other people think and i just think life's too short fuck them fuck what they think you're never gonna see most of them ever again anyway so okay oh my god my throat is so dry where's my water my throat is so dry i've been talking for so long i really i don't even know if any of that helped i i'm gonna be honest i don't know but <laughs> i hope it did let me know if it did in the comments let me know if you want me to do more videos like this i hope i haven't offended anyone because that is literally the, the last fucking thing i would ever want to do and i hope you have a great week i will see you guys very soon thank you for watching Mwah.